Full potential difference exists across the anode and a cathode of a CRT, a cathode ray tube. If the electrons are considered to be at rest at the cathode, what speed will they pass through the anode? So you can kind of imagine the scenario that we see in this little picture here. You can imagine the electrons are being boiled off this filament and they're kind of floating in space right around here, these little electrons. Now when you talk about uh, a basic particle accelerator, which is what this is, you can imagine you've got a negative plate here, right, repelling the electrons. So we're attaching this to a voltage. And over here is your positive plate with a little hole in it. And they basically put a voltage across it like this. So you've got this voltage connected to either plate. And that voltage, or that change in voltage as it crosses the gap, is 100. Now I say change because this negative could be negative 50, and the positive could be positive 50. That still represents an overall change in voltage of 100. So just be aware of that in some of the questions. Now we want to know how fast they're going to emerge from that anode. So in a question like this, if the electrons are initially at rest, they're loaded up with some sort of potential energy, right? They want to be repelled from that plate and they want to cross the gap. So they're falling across that gap. Imagine I flip this thing vertically and I'm dropping this electron. It would be very similar to dropping a ball where your potential energy is getting converted to kinetic. So that's how we're going to tackle this one. We know from our formula sheet that our change in voltage is given by change in potential energy per charge. Or if I solve that for potential energy, my change in potential energy as it crosses the gap is whatever my change in voltage is times Q. Now, from conservation of energy, our change in potential energy is going to get converted to kinetic. So you can think of it like this. My change in potential energy is going to get converted to kinetic. It's going to change the object's kinetic. Whatever I lose or gain with potential, I'm going to lose or gain. I'm going to counter it with my kinetic energy. So change in potential energy, change in voltage times Q. And since EK initial is zero, really all I'm worried about here is EK final, which is one half M v final squared and if I solve that for v final do a little algebra 2 times the change in voltage times the charge that's moving across the gap divided by the mass of the charge all square rooted should give me my velocity now if I put it in my numbers my change in voltage is 100 the charge in question is an electron the elementary charge 1.6 10 to the negative 19 coulombs. And the mass would be the mass of an electron, which is 9.11 times 10 to the negative 31 kilograms. And all of that we want to take the square root of. And when I work all that out, I end up getting 5.93 times 10 to the 6 meters per second. Now keep in mind, the speed of light is 3 times 10 to the 8th. I always check to make sure that's less than the speed of light. The speed of light obviously is as fast as we can go. So that fits the criteria. And when I round it off to the correct sig figs, I get 5.9 times 10 to the 6 meters per second.